Joining me now is Marco Colombo, who's an Italian political analyst, who's also made a documentary about Silvio Berlusconi. So you certainly do know the man. Good to have you with me. Hello there. So, is he going to go really? It is interesting that uh, it wasn't the girls, it wasn't the uh, financial or bribing scandals, it's the euro that pushed Berlusconi out. The markets didn't want Berlusconi there, he was incredible, he wasn't um, the liberal reformist Prime Minister he promised to be, he's been very conservative, the uh, staunchest ally in Northern League didn't want any pension reforms, pension reforms are needed, labour market reforms are needed, and those austerity measures is the only thing that Berlusconi is going to pass. He is the king of the bounce back though, isn't he? And so there's still doubt. He says he'll go, but is it really going to happen? Well, the formal step of going to the head of state and uh, offering his resignation has been done last night. He hasn't resigned yet. Uh, he will have to do it uh, as he promised after the austerity measures. It will probably take between one week and two weeks, but the majority in the parliament has gone last night. Uh, you know, he lost. He, he won the vote, but he lost the confidence of the parliament. And uh, that was the sign. That was the end of the Berlusconi era, as predicted uh, last night. Um there's still the question of this economic reform package going through and also how the country is run in the meantime. And there's um, some speculation that a technocratic government may be put in place, but he's not for this. Oh, Berlusconi is not for this. He said it many times he would have wanted uh, somebody uh, he could control, uh, either the head of the Senate or probably his min uh, junior uh, uh, right hand man, the Minister of Justice. Uh, this is probably not going to happen. It's not in his hands anymore. Uh, what the um, rest of the parliament might decide is for somebody like the former EU commissioner Mario Monti to take over, an economist, somebody who knows quite a lot about uh, the economy, and uh, drive Italy through this storm, because that's what it is, a financial storm, uh, gain the credibility of the markets. Already there were rumours, well, the facts that the, the American market was uh, rallying on the, on the euro, um, and uh, so is the Asian market. So it was really what it was expected, to Berlusconi to step out, to get a credible government that will put through the reforms needed for Italy, reduce the debt, um, and get Italy on track, basically. What does this mean for Italians, day-to-day -day living? Is there confidence now that the country can move forward, do you think? Well, Italy is still a very wealthy country. I was in Italy last week. I mean, st people are still going out. We're not nowhere, nowhere near Greece. I mean, Italy is still a very industrial and rich country. Uh, the problem was very much about the, the sovereign debt, about the fact that Italy, Italy stands in Europe. It looked like Italy was... Uh, wasn't moving anyway, wasn't actually listening to what Europe was saying or, or the markets. So the Italians are, well, I would say seven out of Italian, uh, seven out of ten Italians are happy that Berlusconi is, is gone. Uh, his majority in the parliament was very thin, but Berlusconi will be remembered as uh, the longest, uh, longest serving prime minister. We'll see. I'm not quite sure we've seen the end of him just yet. Marco Colombo is the end of this interview, though, however. Thank you very thank much you. for joining me. Thank you for having us. <laughs>